Hey Legionnaires, welcome back, we're back with some more Thrones of Britannia, it's been a little while, uh, but we are back, I've finally got some more replays of this uh, great, great Total War game to show off, I really enjoy it, some people are still unsure about Thrones of Britannia, but I, I love it, it's a, it's a, literally a Total War focused on Britain, and a really cool period, I love the Viking period, um, big fan of the shows like Vikings See, Last Kingdom, so I'm always down to fight. show off some uh, Thrones of Britannia, that is for sure, but yeah, we have, uh, we have, like the Welsh over here, this is Gwynn, I believe. I've kind of, you know what, it's been that so long since I played Thrones of I've kind of forgotten what the factions are, but I believe this is like Gwynn here, like the Welsh faction. We're still in Strathclut over here, which uh, I do remember. I, these guys are quite annoying in some of the modded versions of uh, Thrones of got some pretty powerful units. We've got two like Welsh factions, uh, I believe these are all Welsh factions actually. Strathclut and uh, like Gwynn obviously are definitely Welsh. With the Welsh dragon there, so this is cool. We're gonna have like a bit of a Welsh the war going on. Got some veteran bow veteran bowmen that just been uh, routed there. I presume by a uh, well more veteran bowmen here. It seems like that's uh, what both sides are kind of bringing. And uh, yeah, we've it's an interesting one. It's a very small one today. It's not the largest one in the world, but uh, it's nice to be back in Thrones Britannia. I felt like just showing this off. I know a lot of you guys do enjoy Thrones Britannia. And here we go. We got a bit of a cab charge coming, and in goes Gwyn. And Strathclaw going in with their cavalry. I don't know exactly. Gwyn's sitting against General here. This is a bit of a risk. But uh, yeah, Strathclaw is sending in some heroic melee cavalry here. Uh, we are using the the shield wall mod, uh, uh, like mod. Yeah, shield wall mod. That's all there is to call it uh, today. But not that it really does anything I, other than like shield walls. I think I think it just like puts makes more authentic shield walls. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but they are using using it today. Um, it's just seems like the cavalry here is actually kind of losing for Strathclaw. I mean, it was anyway. They are now sending in spears. That will certainly help. And also, the general he's going to try and encircle uh, Gwyn's general here. Uh, on the same, at the same time, really they should be pushing this infantry trying to support because this cavalry fight is not going to go too well. I feel for the uh, for Gwyn now that they're getting their general surrounded. That is for sure. He is not going to have a fun time. And spears come in. I mean, certainly you can see here cavalry being routed. That's probably help, uh, being helped by uh, the fact that the spears now in here. Like infantry and cavalry fights always as well, and especially things like spear units, they're going to do really well. I guess Javis as well coming in, yeah, they're really going to surround Gwyn's general here. That's going to be a, a tough fight to get out of. He yeah, looks like that is might be gen a general right there in the mix. How is he doing? He's actually m combat even. What is this maniac made of? Insanely good is the answer. But we've got uh, like levy spears coming up. I'm surprised they haven't bring things more like axes. Or like swords, but everyone's just bringing like spears. It's kind of an interesting move. We've got Gwyn here now with a whole bunch more cab though now coming through. And uh, I mean, this is just going to be able to free and just harass wherever it fancies. I don't know if it, how effective it will be against spears, but we will see. It comes into the back lines here doing some damage. Doing a lot of damage actually. Look at this. Knocking the numbers down. Doing a really good amount of damage. Levy spears, I guess they do a lot of damage against them. I mean, it looks like they're going to try and pin down some of the other, inf uh, other cavalry over there. Infantry has now also clashed. Noble swords, these guys are. I imagine they're going to beat the spears here, I imagine. It's noble spears. Maybe they add new units to the spear wall, but I don't know. I feel like it might. It's a route I feel like some of these new units look very new. You know what? I can't honestly remember. It's been that long since I played Thrones. I can't remember what units go where. But uh, to be honest, this cat, look at this. Losing decisively now. This general's finally. Look how many units have had to commit to try and kill that one general. Uh, Gwyn really needs to get his other cavalry up. Oh, his infantry up, sorry. But there are cavalry in behind here as well that he's also very concerned about. He's trying to keep his uh, his cavalry back and just defending that as well. So like Strathclaw is being routed here though. Maybe cavalry's got a little bit stronger as well in this mob. This cavalry seems to be running down spears easily though. But a general has fallen. That is in fact the uh, general of this Gwyndarm over here that has just been like harassed. Cods, well not harassed, surrounded. Not just harassed, surrounded. Uh, but that is basically this Gwynd army almost out already. As you can see here, his army is just routing because of army losses and also a lack of a general. But this Gwynd army over here has done pretty well. He's kind of um, allied it up. But if you're enjoying seeing Thrones of Britannia on the uh, on the channel and would like to see some more, then do remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're around here. 
feel free to leave a comment as well if you'd like to see some more Thrones Britannia. I'm certainly enjoying having it back. I'd like to see some more Viking action. Certainly have to do maybe some Thrones Britannia streams. I feel this, is, this, this game is amazing. I feel like it's a really, really good mod. Uh, really, really good game. Not a mod. I mean, they've got some good mods. It has got some really cool mods. So we'll have to try some more of them out. That is for sure. I certainly would like to try and do some uh, like sort of Viking scenarios maybe. That would be cool. Cool. But I feel like this Cav right now should try to hammer on Nambil. Try and even up some of these combats to support his infantry. Because... Uh, Strathclerk looks he's a, like he's uh, in the advantage here. I mean, I say that, Balance Power says otherwise. 600 against just under 500 now. And there we go. We're going to charge into the speed. You know, I mean, that seems like more what should be happening. Carry getting stuck and like stopped in his tracks by spears. Uh, that's just, that's more likely what should be happening. This Carry here, though, seems to be doing okay. How's Carry here? Winning decisively, though, apparently, still. I'm surprised. I mean, it's just charging spears. I feel like every bow, this goes against every bone that I know when it comes to uh, Total War. Like, cavalry should be uh, getting just speared off their horses right now. Like, charging head on in the spears, nah, not healthy. Cav does not like it. The horses are opposed to it. But look at this. Strath Clutz making a bit of a mistake. He's just kind of like death stacking, I feel, with his cav. And he really should just, I think he should be trying to spread it out a bit like um, Gwind is over here. Trying to do some damage. Spears battling on in here. Exhausted. These guys are wavering. They've had enough. And you can see Tra Strathcut's got his general and he's losing decisively. He's trying to get him out of combat. He's losing decisively because he's retreating him. Just getting focused down by archers who are still alive back here. I feel like they might want to try and help out these uh, infantry fights here because these guys are heroic melee cavalry. They're doing well. Household swords. They certainly have, like, yeah, re renamed all the things like household sword infantry. That's definitely not a term used in Thrones Britannia. So maybe it does change the units as well. That's pretty cool. Again, I, I did not realize. Like, I just thought it was just to help with shield walls or something. Like, look at the officer unit as well. It looks really cool. We've got more infantry rushing in here, but Strathclut is now routing Gwent across the, uh, the battle on this side here. He's still alive over here, though, he's Gwent. He's got infantry, he's got some cavalry. And he's got a hope. He's got a dream. He's got some spears here as well, but not much. Needs to hope they can kill maybe a general. Because Gwyn does... Uh, well, actually, Gwyn's still got his general. This uh, this Gwyn here, but the Strathclaw got both their generals. Meaning they have uh, plenty of morale. Without a general, though, they, they'd be in trouble. This general seems like he's doing okay. I mean... <laughs> There's 35 of you guys here, and there's only, what, eight men on horses? I feel like if you could uh, come together, you could actually scare off and kill this general here. But no. But no. There's some, uh, in oh no, this is it. This is the, uh oh no, there's some more infantry over here. What's this? Noble sword. That might want to try and return 16 noble swords. Could be a uh, match winning. You never know. Look at this. Levy spears, form and shield wall. What they are uh, brought in to do, really. It's all they can do. Look at that, the horseman just rearing up at the last second. I feel like cavalry charging into a spear wall can't be healthy either. Not for the cavalry. Spears. Well, they're kind of doing okay. I feel like the cavalry's kind of pulled through there to get to these archers. I feel like they could have just retreated and then got around, but... Yeah. I don't know. They could have definitely tried to uh, just avoid that if they could have. And the general's not coming over. What remains? But it looks like uh, we're going to see Gwynd here just get mopped up. They've only got archers left. Don't know really how there's five minutes left to this battle. Maybe the general's just going to keep avoiding stuff. I have no idea. Well, I don't know. Strathclitz just routed. A load of Strathclitz just routed here. That's huge. Did they just lose a general or something? No. They didn't. These archers look like they might be okay in combat, maybe. I don't know. They're, they're helping to beat these uh, infantry here, these noble spears. That's pretty impressive. We've got a general here. He's beating the general of uh, Strathclaw here, and he's like half the size. What the heck? Losing decisively. They need to get infantry over there to support Strathclaw's already setting in some levy spears to try and support that fight. This is looking good. All of a sudden, like, Gwyn has somehow turned it around. 
It's not one of the biggest battles in the world we've ever had on the channel, but it's certainly one of the closest. How are these generals? Oh, Gwynd has lost. And now we're going to see Strathfoot go in and probably route these archers. And if they lose their general any time now, though, they could be in trouble themselves. Gwynd is uh, doing okay. Lo losing. This general's losing. I thought he'd be winning, but like these archers here, they're hard to kill. Apparently, these veteran bow infantry, for some reason, are just like... There you go. Enemy general's dead. That's going to just cause havoc for Strathclough and his morale. How's he doing it? Winning decisively with his noble spears. Kind of expected. Uh, noble warhounds. We didn't even see these guys get into action, but they've just been routed. It's really, really close, though. And it looks like uh, Strathclough's going to be broken over here, his noble swords. They're bringing back in these noble swords that were left all the way out there. So that's, that's huge as well. They've got these veteran bows. Holding on. Oh, they got more of them in this wood. Oh my gosh, you know, Quinn's hiding little bits and f pieces of his army everywhere. But yeah, it's certainly a close one. It's certainly a popcorn worthy battle, even if it's only for a short time. Go on, boys. Get off a few more volleys. The spears on the way. These are noble spears. Can you put a volley into them, maybe? They're tired. Instead, they run. Probably the smartest thing they could do. I still don't like the uh, the matching up of archers versus swords. Even though it seems to be paying off. Noble swords up against levy spears. Well, just by saying noble, noble versus levy, I feel like the swords should win this. And they are. They just routed those guys instantly. Really nicely done. And look at that, Strathclough looked like he was about to win it. It's down to 81 against 54 men. I know they are small unit sizes, but still, it doesn't matter how, how what unit size this is, this is a close battle. Shaken, but not stirred. I feel like these archers need to just pin them down. And then let the, uh, like the, like his friendly archers here just shoot in the back. They give some pretty good shots. Just stand your ground, archers. Stand your ground. You've at least beaten one. Look, the uh, numbers are turning around already. Look at this. See, they flee before our might. I mean, they need to keep routing these noble swords and things like this. But this is insanely close for, like, no real reason. But we got to fast forward a little bit because it doesn't seem like anyone's really battling. They're just running around and chasing each other. Yeah, here we go. Noble spears running around, chasing these archers, which they're never going to catch because they're active and these are exhausted. Never going to catch them. Uh, looks like, air I mean, if... Honestly, they can just lure these spears back to the main army, surround them. They're uh, they're gonna look fine. They're gonna look really good in business, as one may say. But there you go, archers running back round. I mean, just put a few volleys into them. If they got ammo left, these archers put a few volleys into these uh, into these guys. There you go, broke them instantly. That was really good. Now they can just focus this unit down. And yeah, this is kind of all it's come down to. There's a few brave bowmen putting some volleys. And they broke on the first volley. Look at that. And a period victory for Gwynd. What a battle. I mean, it wasn't the longest, like I said. It wasn't the biggest. But it was certainly one of the uh, the closest I've ever seen. Uh, and yeah, this one was sent in by... Uh, I believe was sent in by uh, Stalin the Pope. Who was uh, playing as uh, like Strathclut here. One of the Strathclut armies. So uh, thank you to him for sending this one in. But we'll go over some of the armies. So we've got uh, the first Gwynd army here played by Sword. Um, I mean, he didn't get too many kills. Um, I mean, I'm seeing, what, like 54 kills here. Like, I mean, I, I forget these units are really small. So I shouldn't be like, okay, oh, these are tiny kills. But yeah, this Arch unit got 54 kills. Cav got 24. is not too bad. Spears getting 22. Romero here. I mean, Romero's got some pretty good kills. I mean, we're saying these are small unit sizes. 130 here uh, with... With his uh, cavalry, 160 with a sword unit here. Um, what else have we got? 64 with the bows. Uh, dog skin, 38. Some some okay kills here. Then we got Star and the Pope playing as one of the Strathclaw armies. Uh, 121 kills with the swords here. Um, his general got 40 kills. His archers getting 34, 51. Cav getting 33. Some pretty good kills there. Anasvara playing as the final um, Strathclaw army, and he got 110 kills here. With uh, like one of his Tulu sword band, 
His uh, source on here getting Jomsving uh, Vikinger getting uh, 72 kills. Did very, very well. And then you've got some uh, like his general getting 36 and his cab getting 53. But there you go, guys. That is today's battle. It wasn't a short one, but it was an epic one. That is for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.